Today on the channel, another year-end best of top 10 list, and this one today, the hardest list to put together of them all. What are we talking about? Well, today's video, we're counting down my top 10 favorite G.I. Joe Classified series of 2023. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! Back to the channel for another best of year-end countdown list and today we head on over to Hasbro as we count down my top 10 favorite G.I. Joe classified series figures of 2023 and as I mentioned a little bit at the top this was the hardest list to put together easily the hardest list as there was uh, so many characters this year G.I. Joe we had so many figures that means the business is doing pretty good I would say putting our business hat on they're going to give us more Joes and more Joes and more Joes and we do know Hasbro owns the Joe license so it's a little cheaper to produce for them than Star Wars Black Series Marvel Legends and other toy lines there but there's no doubt about it G.I. Joe was on the lips of a lot of collectors in 2023 myself included me going back to one of my first absolute favorite action figure loves of the 80s, the G.I. Joe brand. It's so fun and so nostalgic to get these figures all these years later. And we've had so many characters I love, so many more to come. Just a very fun line, a very special line. Truly a moment in time is what we get here. And even the worst figures, for the most part, have redeeming qualities. And this could be a very varied list for people. And you guys know these lists. Of course, we start at number 10, work our way to number 1, with number 1 being the best. Gonna ask you guys and gals out there to put your list together Put it in the comments down below. Make sure you put them in order. That is the hard part. That is the fun part. But from HasLab, His Tanks, to Walmart, Target exclusives, fan channel exclusives, Amazon exclusive, regular releases, retro releases, a banner, banner year for the G.I. Joe brand in 2023. I'm sure they're trying to carry that momentum deep into 2024. Can't wait to do this list next year as well. But like I said, a very tough list to put together all over the place. I think most collectors will have this all over the place, uh, myself included. So without further ado, let's kick it off at number 10. All right, we kick off the countdown at number 10, and this one going to be very controversial. I could be the only person possibly with this in their top 10, and it's coming in at number 10. And the moment this was announced and I saw this bad boy at San Diego Comic-Con, my nostalgia love just grew and grew and grew until we finally got this one, of course, as a Target exclusive. And who are we talking about? Well, we're talking about the true field leader of G.I. Joe. We're talking about the leader of the Tiger Force sub-team, we're talking about my boy Flint. Flint, my all-time favorite G.I. Joe character. Now, a lot of people, I said this would be controversial, a lot of people didn't like this one here. Man, I'm here for Flint all day long, but I go back to the nostalgia factor on this selection here. As the Tiger Force Flint of the 3 and 3 Force days was my number one playing Flint. That Flint had so many adventures, uh, day in, day out for so many years. Uh, of course, after my original Flint broke as a little kid, it was so great to get another flint so quick after the breakage in the tiger force colors now this one a lot of people didn't like the uh, predator face paint going on there i immediately had an answer for that i of course have multiples of the regular flint grabbed one of those switched the heads on the two and bam you got an old school flint very very easily from the tiger force without the face paint and of course i mixed and matched and put them together uh, however one i have two tiger force flints in my collection now but an all-timer of a figure, one that means a heck of a lot to me. Bring on Desert Flint. Bring on Eco Warriors Flint. Bring on Cobra Disguise Flint. Give me all the Flints. I'm here for it. And especially here at number 10 with the Tiger Force Target Exclusive Flint. Next up in the top 10 countdown, we're at number 9. And number 9 is a good figure. Some would say a great figure. I could see this being higher on people's lists as well. And this one kind of just came and went, it felt like. It was a part of a flurry of G.I. Joe figures coming out. A lot of people got it. Some people did not. I believe it was a fan channel. No, it was a Hasbro Pulse exclusive, I do believe. Got to think more of these will come out in the future. We'll see what happens. But we're going to number 9. We're going to the little Arctic mission. 
We're going to Snow Job here, and quite the deluxe figure. Multiple heads, multiple face looks going on with him. Uh, of course, the skis, all the extra weapons, the big deluxe backpack. A lot going on on Snow Job right here. And I was never a big Arctic Missions uh, G.I. Joe guy. I enjoyed Frostbite and Iceberg. Those were two my two favorite Arctic G.I. Joes. Snow Job was always kind of there, but he's probably the one most people think of when they think of uh, Arctic Mission G.I. Joe figures or characters. And this is a good one. This is a great figure, a very fun one here. Uh, but like I said, a little bit off the radar, it really felt like in 2023. But man, don't sleep on this one. It is truly a must have, a core member of the Joe team, as we do know. So Snow Job coming in hot here at number nine. No pun intended. We're feeling great at number eight, and number eight, once again, one of those nostalgic picks, but a great figure as well. Of course, these lists got a taste of nostalgia, a taste of are they a great action figure, a taste of a love for the character. It all kind of goes together in a big stew, and that's where these lists do come from. But the number eight selection here for me takes me way back to going to my grandparents for spring break back in the day. Of course, grandmas love you. They love you. Your grandmas do. And my grandma was always good at getting me a figure on the trip. We do a trip. We do Meals on Wheels. Oh, we drop off Meals on Wheels. We do errands. We do some stuff. We get tacos because my grandpa was anti-taco. That was the only time of year she would get tacos with me uh, and my sister. Just a lot of good memories as a kid, but my grandma would take me to Pomida. Shout out to Pomida stores. If you were from the Midwest, you might remember those. We'd hit up Ben Franklin. We'd hit up Pomida, but I'd always get a figure. I'd always get something. Now, grandma, she's not going all out. She's not getting you the aircraft carrier, but grandma, like I said, she really loves you. She's not just going to get you a figure. This is where the grandma vehicles come in, kind of the middle of the road figures and smaller vehicles. And grandma was going to step up to the plate and she was going to get you one of those. And I distinctly remember picking this one up at Pomida. Who is it? It is my boy, Copperhead. I wish we had the water moccasin, but we just got Copperhead right here. But one of my all-time favorite Cobra members. Not a tippy-top guy until he later joined the Python Patrol. And we actually got that figure in 2023 as well. But the OG Copperhead, something extra special here. And the extra attention to detail on this one is very, very fun. You get the tattoo, the mean mug and face behind the mask. Just a lot to like about this Copperhead figure in general. But you add that nostalgia factor on the top for me. Just an all-timer here. One I knew I wanted in my collection. Just a favorite of mine. So happy to get him in 2023. Is Copperhead coming in at number eight. Next up at the number seven selection, we got an all-timer out there. And a lot of people, I'm sure on your list, he might be a heck of a lot higher than he is on mine. An all-time favorite figure of mine back in the day. This one got a quite the deluxe treatment here in 2023. We did pre-order this at San Diego Comic-Con. Gotta give a special shout out to good friend of the channel, my buddy Travis over there. Check out A Toy Kind of Mood, his YouTube channel, as he hooked me up with one of the pamphlets. He got in that line, got those, gave me one of those, so I do appreciate it. Saved me from an extra long wait in line. I had enough of that going on at San Diego Comic-Con. But what are we talking about? It was the Pulse exclusive. It was, of course, Chuckles. Quite the deluxe figure. The verdict's still out if he needed to be as deluxe as he was. I would have really preferred him probably as a regular G.I. Joe classified series uh, figure. I would have liked to seen the Pulse exclusive to be more of, you know, one of those grandma vehicles. Something like that. Give me a ferret and the firefly together. Something like that would have been funner. But they really did give us a deluxe chuckles. Different heads. Of course, different weapons. Things like that. Covert operation mission. We got that with chuckles here. But there's no denying this is a cool figure. Of course, the Magnum... Uh, I almost said Magnum TA, Magnum PI, Magnum PI type shirt on this one. Very, very fun back then. Very fun now. Accessories, very fun. A great figure. Is it the best of the year? Not personally for me, but I wouldn't fault anybody for having this higher on the list than I do. But a very, very fun one coming in here at number seven is Chuckles. Almost to the halfway point at number six in the G.I. Joe Classified Series countdown. And this number six selection shocked me. A favorite of my childhood back again. Who are we talking about? Well, we're talking about Shockwave. A very cool one here. Urban camo for days is what we got with Shockwave. And we got some of the weapons to match. You got the riot shield here. We got, of course, the uh, nightstick going on. He got a pistol. He got a knife. Just a very, very cool figure of a later day Joe that sold a lot of hearts and never let go, myself included. Just a very fun figure as we helped close out 2023 for the classified line. One of the last figures we did receive this year, of course. If you've been following along on the channel as we've unboxed every single one of these classified figures on this very YouTube channel. 
But Shockwave, a favorite of mine then, a favorite of mine now, coming in at number six. Hit the halfway point in our G.I. Joe Classified Series figures of 2023. And of course, as usual, put your list in the comments down below. Put them in order. That's the fun part. That is the hard part. But the number five selection here, it makes me feel like it's 2011 all over again. As this guy was a big part of the Pursuit of Cobra line, a lot of people may have had this as their favorite Pursuit of Cobra figure. And who knows, maybe their favorite classified figure of 2023. What are we talking about here? But we're talking about the Walmart exclusive Shadow Tracker. A bit of a deep cut, especially for the older G.I. Joe fan base. But if you were collecting Pursuit of Cobra line in the mid-2000s, you knew all about this Shadow Tracker. A very, very cool looking figure. And an even cooler looking classified figure, dare I say, here. From the long hair going on, the cool iconic tracking weapons, the three different face sculpts going on in this one, this one's playing a lot, a lot of hits, and it's just really unfortunate that this good of a figure isn't a mass retail release, this is just going to Walmart only, and we know... For the most part, I think these Walmart exclusives were just online exclusives. The only time you really saw them in stores was if somebody brought them back from an online return. So if you wanted this one, check the Walmart website. I'm sure they'll have more eventually, if not already. But a very cool figure, a must-have figure, is Shadow Tracker. Coming in at number five. Hit the number four spot in the countdown here, and this number four selection in all timer, a must have for all G.I. Joe collectors. The true leader of G.I. Joe that isn't named Flint. Who are we talking about? We're talking about Hawk, another true leader that leads from the front lines, doesn't let the things that get in the way with Duke get in the way with him. Just a true all timer out there, and a guy that's had great figures back in the three and three force line, and we're starting off hot here in the classified line. Get me the other versions of General Hawk in the future. I can't wait to see those. But this is the most iconic version of General Hawk to me. The removable helmet, such a big deal. Because as a kid, you always enjoyed that aspect of him. But you think of him with the helmet on, of course. Uh, the goggles up top. The weapons. The, of course, the coat. An all-timer there. The green pants. Just this is General Hawk from the old days. Brought into the new days here. Just a fabulous, fabulous figure. You gotta have him in your Joe team. There's no doubt about it. And General Hawk coming in hotter than hot at number four. We're down to the final three and the number three selection here. I was a little bit worried about because, let's be honest, his brother was a little underwhelming. But I am thankful to report the number three selection here in all timer figure. One of the best classified figures ever, not just for 2023. We're talking about from the Dreadnoughts. We're talking about Ripper. Uh-oh, as I knock him over. With the Jaws of Life, of course, his iconic weapons, tattoo, mohawk. Uh, he does got an awesome necklace, big beard, glasses that affected his brother weren't so well. Rippers are a lot better than buzzers were. Just an all-time great figure here. Possibly the best Dreadnought figure so far. Uh, and I can't wait for more Dreadnoughts in 2024, as we do know more are coming. But man, oh man, did this one play a lot of hits for me. A great figure as we closed out 2023 is, of course, Ripper. Dangerously close to the end of the G.I. Joe countdown here is with the number two selection. The number two selection came, was it about springtime or so this year? What is time, as we always do say? This is an OG G.I. Joe character that I always enjoyed the second incarnation of instead of the first incarnation in the three and three force line. However, this one kind of melded the two together with a new updated twist that I think really worked well for this character. He does peg warm, especially in Walmart so, uh, right now as we're filming this, but one of the best figures from the Joe brand for me in 2023. Coming in at number two, we're going to the beaches. We're bringing out a little rock and roll. And of course, rock and roll, like I said, an all-timer. An original G.I. Joe team member from the cartoon series. Just a fun one. And of course, very military-like with a little bit of a twist. A little, dare I say, rock and roll. I love the addition to the tattoos. Love the little uh, Easter egg here on his uh, helmet here. It says Hang 10 because we know he's a surfer. Big iconic weapons, of course. And then giving us those Ronnie James Dio hands never hurts anybody here. Just a very fun figure that is truly rock and roll. So rock and roll G.I. Joe Classified Series coming in at number two. But there can only be one. Just like a young Highlander, what is the number one selection for 2023? Well, stay tuned. Here we are at the number one spot for our G.I. Joe Classified Series figure countdown for 2023. Once again, put your list in the comments down below. 
Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel as well as we got a lot of countdown videos as we look towards 2024 next, but we got to finish up 2023 first. But the number one selection here coming in hot is a figure not a lot of people chose to open, I think. Uh, maybe I'm one of the few out there. Obviously, there's been others, but not a lot of people wanted to open this one up, and I totally understand it because the packaging, absolutely next level. An amazing figure, one that we knew we all wanted, one that is very cool, but I didn't know it would be this cool until I got it out of the package. Coming in at number one, G.I. Joe Classified Series, Hasbro, HasLab, Mickey Mouse, Cobra Commander takes the number one spot here. And what can you say about Cobra Commander? An all-time great, a guy with many looks, and it's always the question as old as time. Do you like your Cobra Commander with the hood on or the faceplate? And personally, I go both ways. I like both of them. But when I close my eyes and I think of Cobra Commander, this is the head I think of first. Beautiful, beautiful blue. Got the red racing stripe down the pants. Of course, the logo, not quite the iconic one we really do think of with this one. And it really does lead me to believe that this will get re-released with some bells and whistles changes in the future. I think there's too much meat on the bone right here, not for a regular retail release. But for what we got with the HasLab, which was absolutely amazing, the His Tank, of course, check out those videos. Check out the best top five action figure vehicles of 2023 list on this very channel. We get more HasLab, His Tank talk on those videos. But this one, just so iconic. Even down to the backpack and the weapons, just an absolute thing of beauty that definitely stands out on the shelf. And of course, we've got a lot of Cobra Commanders over the last couple of years from the classified line. But this is the most iconic one by all means so far here. And that's why he's coming in at number one in my top 10 G.I. Joe figures of 2023 once again get your list together put them in the comments down below and don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel of course as we always do say don't forget about patreon for early access to all the videos from both YouTube channels, and of course, Patreon, your best way to support this very YouTube channel. Don't forget ProWrestlingTees.com, search Kyle Peterson. Don't forget social media, follow and hit me up over there, Sir Paul 64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads, and on Instagram. So for Cobra Commander and the rest of the top 10 list, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.